asks us to determine the sum of the series. Now, we should realize that this is a geometric sequence. You might think that it's arithmetic because you're plussing 2 over here, but then it doesn't plus 2 when you go to the next one. However, can you see that we are multiplying by 2? Can you see that? If you are unsure how to work out your ratio number, all you do is you take term 2 divided by term 1, and so in this case that would be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So because it's geometric, we need to use the geometric sum formula. However, there is one problem. We don't know how many terms we have. But what we do know is that the last term is equal to 4096. So we can use the TN formula, and we could put the last term as 4096, then A is 2, your common ratio is 2, and then we don't know what N is. Now remember what some students like to do here is they multiply these two together, but that is not correct because of this exponent. So what we do instead is we rather divide this 2 on the other side. Then 4096 divided by 2 is 2048. Now here is where you have two options. You can either break the number 2048 up into its prime numbers, or you can use logs. I'm going to use the prime number method. So what I do is I type this number in on my calculator. I then push equals, I then push shift, and then I look for the button that has fact. And if you do that, you should end up with 2 to the power of 11. Now the 2's cancel out, so we can cancel those out, and so we have n minus 1 equals 11. If you solve for n, you get 12. That means that this, 4096, is at position 12. But because it's the last term in the sequence, it means we have 12 terms. Now we can use this formula here, and so the sum of 12 terms is going to be a, which is 2, the common ratio was also 2, n is 12, r is 2, and then you just go ahead and you will get 8,190.